My name is Matt Weaver. I am the Vice President for Advancement at Lebanon Valley College. When I think about John Lynn's career, uh, where it's taken her, all of the countries, and all of the really impressive educational institutions that she has worked for, uh, I always come back to the fact that she chose LVC to establish a scholarship. Uh, so yeah, my name is Shingrai Guchu. Uh, that's my full uh, first and last name. Uh, they call me Shing, and that's like my nickname. Uh, I'm from Zimbabwe. Yeah, so uh, fortunately, uh, I've been able to get an internship with the company and uh, they offered me a full-time position. So I'm going to be moving with a company called Willis Towers Watson. Uh, it's an actuarial consulting firm. I'm going to be starting as an actuarial analyst. Uh, it's located in Philadelphia. My name is Fatima Madondo. I'm an international student from Zimbabwe and I'm studying neuroscience with a minor in French and chemistry. So I'm planning to go to medical school. Uh, right now I'm studying for my MCAT and I'll see how that goes after that. But the plan is to go to medical school, maybe pursue an MD, PhD, uh, doing research and pursuing medical school at the same time. My name is Daryl Dury. I'm an international student from Zimbabwe and my major is analytical finance. In the future, I hope to work for a fund management firm, something proprietary. This has always been my dream ever since I was young. I've had a, the chance to speak with John Lynn um, lots of times on, on lots of visits uh, about her motivation for the Almond Tree Scholarship. And it really started when she was 22, 23 years old uh, and serving as a nurse in Mozambique and then Rhodesia, now Zimbabwe. Uh, and she would uh, work in orphanages uh, and she has told me that you know she would see these these babies and these children and she would wonder uh, what kinds of things they would go on to accomplish if they were just given the opportunity and if you fast forward 50 years later she really never lost sight of that question uh, and that is the motivation that really drove her to start this scholarship at LBC. One of these days, my advisor from uh, the program sent me an email uh, telling us about the uh, Almond Tree Scholarship, that it was looking to find a sub-Saharan African student. Uh, like any other student who received that email, I just applied, not really knowing that uh, it was going to be me. So that's how I found out about it. Yeah, I think I was beyond grateful. I don't know how to actually articulate the feelings I had. I had. Uh, so I learned about the Almond Tree Scholarship through the U.S. Embassy in Zimbabwe. Um, I was part of their membership and usually they uh, introduce students to various scholarships in the USA and as a member I had access to that information. So my advisor told me about this scholarship and I thought it was really great and I reached out to Shingrai and he told me more about it. That's when I decided to apply. So it was at the time when I was just done with high school and I didn't want to go to school in my country so I thought how what's the best way to get um, a good scholarship in the United States and get a good education there and so when I was looking it up I came across a scholarship that was specifically for Africans in Zimbabwe or Mozambique and this is where I found the Almond Tree Scholarship. Now at the time there was only one scholar which was um, my counterpart Shingarai and I managed to find him on Facebook and reach out to him just to make sure that this was uh, exactly what I wanted. And after talking to him, I had no doubt that this is what I wanted for myself. And so I applied and I guess I'm here today. Uh, yeah, I think to join Aline, uh, I, would, I would say she, she, she definitely deserves the, the award. Uh, from my own point of view, I would take you a little bit back uh, hearing the story that inspired her to start the Almond Tree Scholarship and how she has carried that dream like 20 years into it after she left Africa and wanting to have the kids down there access education. I think I have like, it's heartfelt, uh, the, the gratitude that I have, I, I, it's, it's, it's not easy to articulate, but I think I'm really uh, internally grateful. and. The way she has impacted my life is profound that my, my life, my family's life is headed on a much higher trajectory than I could have even imagined. So I think, I, I think that just in simple terms, I'll just say thank you for that. Um, I hope that I'll be able to create opportunities to other people through all these opportunities that have been uh, afforded to me. 
Um, I'm really grateful for this opportunity. I didn't think that it would be possible to come here and have these wonderful experiences. We also can continue with your legacy and this has inspired me to start my own project uh, back home uh, to help other girls um, have access to resources and go to school. So I'm really inspired by what you have started and we hope to continue with the legacy. Well, I would like to say to Jonathan that this has been an opportunity I would have never imagined to have. It's only a dream to have such a good education. And so, especially from where I come from, it is one in so many million of people who can manage to get this. So for me, I would just like to say thank you from the deepest part of my heart because this has changed my life prospects, what I would like to do in life, what I want to do. I have so many options now, as opposed to just sticking to one route and making sure it doesn't fail. Now I have more flexibility and now I have a new society I have a new way of looking at things. I have new ideas that I've also picked up. And these are priceless things that I've only managed to get through the scholarship. Thank you so much, uh, Jonathan, for everything that you've done. On to, to my life, uh, to Darius and to Fatimas, I think just, it's, it's profound. Like I said, I don't have many ways to say, I just want to say thank you.